Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Candice, welcome. If you do like what you see, um, just keep on watching. This is the Jordan Woods inspired makeup tutorial. I absolutely fell in love with her look. Um, I actually did this look about eight hours ago. However, the lashes, lashes that I used um, came out a little bit wonky. So I will insert a little bit of that clipping to the end, but I ended up snatching them off and replacing it with these more natural lashes. Um, to kind of give more of a direct or more realistic replica of the look that she had at the red tabletop. So if you'd like to see how I did this very simple flawless um, beat, keep on watching. So to begin, I'm going to fill in my brows very lightly. I am going to be using um, the L'Oreal Lacquer Liner in the shade, I think that my was not thing, and then the Ambrosia Beauty, Brow Beauty in shade Medium Brown. Because Jordan's brow is like light feathery, I'm going in with very light strokes to just put down the shape and then we're going to blend it out with possible okay now my skin looks hydrated i'm going to go in with primer i've been using these very cheap primers from shop miss a this is the brown aoe and this is a matte mattifying primer i'm going to concentrate this on the areas that i tend to get oily so my t-zone because i want to make my makeup last all day i'm going to go in with um some translucent powder and i'm going to set my entire face to ensure that the oils are kept at bay Right, so I was saying, going in with the Wet n Wild Photo Foundation, Photo Focus Foundation, and I'm just gonna apply that, this one. One thing I wish they could um, do differently is add a pump, oh my god, like how hard is it? Right, um, and then I'm gonna go in with the Red Blum Color Steel to brighten that up just a tad. Just gonna dot this around as well. Both hands on are too dark, and if you notice, I'm very yellow, so I'm going to go in with my warm coconut 356 six, three, Maybelline Super Stay foundation, and this is. On its own, it's a little bit too light, but um, with all the other conditions, it looks really good. I'm gonna concentrate this in the lighter parts of my face. All right, my eyes are strapping down my neck. So I'm gonna go in with a flat top brush face. This is also from Shop Miss A. Just gonna dab it, bounce it on my face. And when I'm done, I will then go in with the Sasha sponge to blend it out. I just found when you go in with a brush face and then the sponge makes the application of the foundation extremely flawless. So now I'm gonna 
Carafis Darkness it's going in with my Colourpop No Filter Concealer in the shade Dark 46 and I'm just going to apply that in areas that I normally highlight and I'm also almost out of this because I use it all the time it's such a good concealer and I'm gonna add some of the form over top this color pop. Now I'm gonna really see how this punch performs. Guys, I am in love with this sponge. Everything is beautifully blended. So now I'm going to really test the sponge by going into the Sasha Pearl Powder Foundation um, palette. And I'm going to really get in there to set this to contour my face. I'm going to go in with this brush from Ely. Just lightly blend that in. Add a little bit to the bottom. Just suck in and chisel. Okay. This brush. I'm gonna curl it up to the brow. Just gonna soften it out. Just gonna Soften up this contour. Blend out the harsh line by tapping over what's left on the sponge over top. So blended, not blended. Yes. So just gonna take the bottom and just dab over where I would have contoured and then go back in a little bit of powder again this time buttercup squeezing it going down the bridge of the nose and literally just to the sides okay. just going to end the bottom and just blend everything out right so now I'm going to apply powder over the entire face and I'm going to be using the Sasha Botica Pro out of condition again and just lightly dust. Driver's base. I'm going to mix Toby with Neo. No, so to take away this powdery look, I'm going to split my face with Sasha Fix It. Just gonna take the bra, the sponge and Just tap everything in, please. I'm just going in with the Sasha Pure Jewels in the shade number four and popping that right in the inner corner. Yes. So that concludes the Jordan Woods inspired makeup tutorial. I must say though, my review on this um, special blending sponge, I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. This is my face after 8 hours of wear. I mean I have some creasing here but in terms of the look overall, I love it.